what's going on everybody welcome back to another video I got another good one for y'all today i had somebody hit me up sent me a donation over on paypal said hey i want you to check out joiner lucas i hope i'm saying that right if i'm not i'm sorry but this uh, video is featuring jelly roll and the name of the song is best for me if you enjoy the content do me a favor sub to the channel like the video and leave me a comment let me know what you want to see next without wasting any more time let's get in it how can you love someone mm. and learn to let them go? Right off the rip. How can we fall apart on things we'll never know? This man, this man has the best testimony as far as it goes from somebody who has hit absolutely rock bottom and has made it. You know what I'm saying? Just, I... I can't think of another person that is a better example of what it is to hit bottom and actually come out on top. Flat out. He fall apart on and, things and we'll have never know. Absolutely a talented voice as well. Isn't it funny you can change your ways for someone to fill in your empty space? Tell me, is it really love if you have to ask if they'll stay? Yeah, I got somebody I love. Someone who's really important to me, but now they addicted to drugs. Someone who's not who they used to be, and we ain't been keeping in touch. I ain't gonna say any names at all, because I don't want no one to judge. But I wrote the song, I hope when they hear it, they'll never forget who they was. I hope you're feeling your spirit enough. I want to just tell you I love you in case that you really don't hear it as much. I know. Man. It's it's hard. It's it's really hard dealing with somebody that you care about. That's dealing with drugs and and stuff like that. It has addiction problems. So I, I have a few buddies of mine that mm, I have a couple of them that ended up in that way were addicted to drugs, and. They 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 succumb to that sort of thing, and yeah, it sucks. Miss them. You feeling your spirit enough? I wanna just tell you I love you in case that you really don't hear it as much. I know we ain't talked in a while, but fuck it, I really don't care what it was. I wanna reach out, but you keep on shutting me down. Are you even caring as much? Or what the fuck happened to you? In a fight, I never thought I'd see the day that you let addiction ruin your life. Every That's so true. You know, you never would let's say you would never think that that person would actually let that control them the way it does, and the way it ends up just absolutely changing their lives for the worse. And to to you, it seems that they're so blind to it. And all you see is all of the good things that has been surrounding them for such a long time just slowly start to fade away. And just kind of watch them fall apart, really. It's the only real way I know to say it. You, you losing a fight. I never thought I'd see the day that you let addiction ruin your life. Everyone calling that shit a disease and making you feel like you in the right. But I hate the fact that you really be using that as an excuse to do what you like or do what you might. And I keep on praying and reaching for you. I hope you look in the mirror and see all the things I've been seeing in you. Hope your reflection will send you a message and show you this shit is much deeper than you. If you don't believe in yourself, then you'll never believe in somebody believing in you. Ooh, if you don't believe in yourself, you'll never believe in somebody that believes in you. That's so true. Man, this just this this just hits in a whole different level with me. So I've got I've I've had too many of my friends, you know, they, they go and they see these psychiatrists, you know, and for those of you that don't know, I'm a veteran. I'm a combat veteran. A lot of my friends are combat veterans as well. They deal with the PTSD and all this other, you know, these other mental health things. And a lot of them, they they end up addicted to to drinking, to uh, drugs, and all of these all of these sorts of things that just 
just ends up ruining their lives and stuff. So, and some of it's, some of it's on them. Some of it's, I mean, I don't know. It's tough because the, the VA will give you these medicines and stuff and tell you to take them because they'll help. But then they end it end up addicted to these medications and stuff like that and then they want to drink their problems away and it's just it is a compound problem it just doesn't go away when i gotta tell you the truth because i'm about to lose it and you in denial about it and just want to make up a million excuses tearing our family apart but you leave a scar and everyone bruises every decision affecting us all and if you get lost and everyone loses for real and i'm gonna be next to leave I know that guy got a plan and you ain't fulfilling your destiny Much as I need you, I will not be sticking around or watching you rest in peace I promise I love you, but I gotta do what's best for me How can mm. you love some? That's, that's gotta be, that's I can't find it in myself, personally, to give up on somebody I, I don't know I'll, I'll go until there just isn't any more go in me You know what I'm saying? Like, in, in them because I just, I don't, it probably has a lot to do with where I come from in my past, with my military background and stuff like that. I just, I never want to give up on, on my brothers and sisters, but just like him, it's like, you can only, you realistically, you can only do so much. Until you end up in the position where it's like, dude, I've been trying and trying. I've been trying for years. And it's like you don't want the help. It's like you can try and try all you want. If the person doesn't want the change, if they don't want the change, that change has to be deep inside of them. But it's it's tough to... it's super tough to let go and just I don't want to say give up but that's kind of really the only way to put it someone learn to let them go how can we fall apart on things we'll never know isn't it funny you can change your ways for someone defending your empty space tell me is it really love if you have to ask if they'll stay mm. Look, I know you've been calling for me You hit on my phone, but I've been alone so long I'm harder to reach I know you ain't saying any names But I got a feeling you talking to me oh, I hate when knows. these demons get into my soul I like this I really Yo Joiner Lucas Brother I really like I like the way you think, brother this is now the this is the perspective of the person that's addicted to drugs. So he got he got the perspective from the person that's helping or trying to help. Now we're looking at the perspective from somebody that's that's the one that's in trouble. That's the one that's dealing with the addiction. I like that. I like that a lot. I know you ain't saying any names, but I got a feeling you talking to me. I hate when these demons get in on my soul. I feel like I'm caught in a beast. Mm. I do I let go of something I know is bigger and stronger than me. If I could be honest, I'll tell you the truth. I'm not who you want me to be. Nobody is perfect, not even you. So why you keep targeting me? I feel like we can't even have a genuine convo without you starting to preach. I feel like a dog on a leash. It's not what I need. Living in hell, wondering when I gotta leave. Like, how can I breathe? How you gonna tell me addiction is not a disease? What do you mean? If it's not a disease, then why has it gotten to me? It's not what it seems. But you always be making me feel like the problem is me. I'm not gonna be who you want me to be. Like God decided for me and speaking to God. How the fuck you know all of the plans he's got for me? So give me a break. I've been inching away from trying to get out of this dream. I'm drifting away. I so here's, this is, this is something that a lot of people are probably not gonna like to hear. But there's a lot of truth in it, right? People who are addicted to things will latch on to whatever they can to justify where they are and justify them using whatever it is that they're going to use or they want to use. They'll look for any way to justify it and make it right in their mind. 
right? And the part that they typically have a problem with is the person or persons, people who are trying to help them are trying to hold them accountable and giving them a little taste of reality and letting them know that they're hurting themselves and whatever, whatever. He, in my, in my eyes, he is looking at himself as a victim trying to justify what he's doing, even though he doesn't like it. His friend is trying to hold him accountable and tell him it's like, you're doing this to yourself. I'm trying to help you, but you keep pushing me away. How can I help you if you don't let me? But at the same time, the guy that's addicted to the thing is like, this is the only thing that makes me feel better. It's such a tough cycle, right? How come you only there for me when I be trying to get clean? My biggest mistake is me wishing that things were different. I felt like the drugs is made for sinning. That's why I've been stuck in the same position. Fuck. I'm falling, but I cannot budge. Been wondering why I'm in love with a strange addiction. And why the fuck you always playing a victim? A lot of this shit that you hate to mention. It sucks that I had to taint your vision. But ain't nothing left for me. So you can just quit addressing me. I guess it's just my destiny. So take me as I am or let me be. Tired of you stressing me. Cause shit I gotta do is best for me. How can you mm. love someone? Mm. So the, the the addicted the what he feels is best for him is for him to continue to use and continue to go down that road where those drugs and alcohol or whatever the case may be is in the moment when they're using it brings them away from those problems and stuff like that that they're trying to deal with because that's that's usually the thing it's trying to find the root problem what is it that makes them want to be down in that slump like that and it the drugs usually take that that thing away that's that's making them feel that way. this yo joiner lucas i don't bro this song is absolutely going to to hit some people in the face. I'm just saying, this is probably one of the it's probably one of the best songs I've heard in the last year. Probably, especially got it definitely has the strongest message I've listened to in the last year. Let them go. How can we fall apart? Yo, I just want to say, I don't care what it is, what, what kind of addiction that you might have, be it drugs, alcohol, cigarettes, whatever it is. And this, this goes for people who are are addicted and this also goes for those who are trying to help somebody with addiction they are never going to give it up until they are ready right they have to commit down to their soul that it's time and i'm talking about because it, it takes such a high level of willpower and commitment to go through with it and the support that they need is almost never there. I, I, 
I've seen so many people tear just absolutely just tear their lives up for no real reason. You know, at least in my eyes, it's no real reason because it's never this. It's like slow suicide. It's like nobody wants to hear it. But I mean, essentially, that's what it is, because you're you're just destroying yourself from the inside out. And it's just a really, really slow process. And the only way to get away from it is to have a super strong support system, be always surround yourself with positive people that are strongly uh, a, a, a strong positive influence on you and you gotta you gotta maintain discipline willpower and you gotta be absolutely committed to to change and if you're one and if you're somebody that's helping somebody overcome addiction once you start you can't fucking stop Period. As soon as you stop, relapse. 100%. Almost almost 99.9% of the time. If you falter at all in trying to help that person, relapse. I've seen it so many times. If you need help, where is it at? If you need help, call that line. There's thousands of sources to get help when it comes to addiction. There's thousands. If you and if you know somebody, especially if it's somebody that you love, somebody that you care about, don't be afraid. Cuz you might actually save their life. That's it for me. I, yo, Tanner, this one hit deep, brother. Appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one. Y'all take care.